Hello quilters, I'm Joyce Grandy with Material Girls of Florida. It's been a long time since I've done a video. COVID hit and I just slowed down like the rest of the world did. It's taken me a while to get back into the groove of designing and quilting and just having fun with it. Um, fingers crossed, we've booked quilt shows for 2022 and I have a quilt show in November of this year in Ocala. So if you're a country road quilters, that is, if you're in the area, please stop and see us. If you go to my website, I'll have a link below to the site. You can see a list of the shows we'll be doing um, and the places I'm teaching actually also. During this time, I did come up with a new program and class that I've done a couple of times now for local guilds and I have many more scheduled so that's exciting. The name of the program is Not Your Grandmother's Flower Garden. So it's hexes, 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 and hexes in very very different ways. I have a lot of samples, a lot of fun things to show and then the class is hexes three ways. Now um I am not typically a hand worker. I, as I said, I did slow down during COVID. So I did some hand works and I did a lot of research on hand work. So uh, the class goes over some of that. Also a fold and glue technique. That's a lot of fun and very fast. And we'll do some half hexes in that class too. So uh, if your guild is interested, contact me via the link below and uh, I'll be happy to send out some information. So today, as I was writing uh, a new pattern, and here's the pattern. The pattern is called Flower Power. So let me show you here. This is the large one. By large, I mean it's done with um, eight and a half inch half hexes. And then here is the smaller one, and that's done with a six and a half inch hexy. I made the smaller one to be a size for a, a newborn infant. That's 30s fabric. It's really quite fun, that fabric. Um, I don't usually work like that, but I had a stash of it, so I thought I'd give it a try. So both these quilts are done with half hexes. Super, super, super easy and fast. No Y seams at all. Um, and so when I was designing the pattern, it dawned on me this would be a good demo to do, a little YouTube video on how I quickly cut out the, um, the hexagon and half hexes for these quilts. As I said, it goes together so fast. So I use this ruler. I use the hex and more ruler. If you can see it here, you'll see it a little bit better when I show you my work surface. Um, so let me start by saying I am not a ruler girl. I do not buy $30 rulers to do one thing. I am anti-ruler, if anything. But the reason I like this particular ruler is, first of all, it's under $20 on Amazon. It has four different cuts that it will do in four different sizes. So for example, the half hexi, you can cut at two and a half, four and a half, six and a half, and eight and a half inches. Same thing, you can cut a full hexi on this ruler, same sizes. You can cut the setting triangles for a full hexi. So you would use those setting triangles when you don't want to do Y seams on your hexes. And believe me, I, I've done Y seams. There's no reason. I'll, I'll show you an example of, of what it looks like with the setting triangles. And I, I love that technique. It also does a diamond shape, which I have not done. It looks a little more complicated than I think I can handle right now. But uh, instructions come with the ruler, so it's great. I mean, you, you can do whatever you want with it. I did notice on Amazon that there is a knockoff that's only like $10. Um, but I just want to say, read the reviews because people wrote that the lines weren't accurate um, and the, the template itself wasn't as thick as other templates so that's really important when you're cutting with a with a rotary cutter okay so let's switch over to a desk view and we'll cut some um, half hexes okay so i'm going to use the six and a half inch half hexy marking on the ruler that's this one in the kind of the middle there i uh, you need to cut your strips at three and a half inches wide 
by with the fabric. So that's what I have here, and I have two different colors just so we can put them together. Now, um, I find I can carefully stack these up and cut through four layers at one time. If you don't feel comfortable, you do you and cut through as many as, or as little as you want. So now I'm going to line the ruler up. The bottom solid line is uh, across, across the bottom, clearly, right? And then there's a top line also solid that we're going to line up. So here's the six and a half. Hopefully, let me see if can come down. Let me see. Can I zoom in on that? Perhaps, maybe. I hope so. Okay, so now we're going to cut... Hang on, let me get this a little bit better. I'm sorry, I'm not so good with cameras and all that stuff. And, and what I little I did know, I've already forgotten. So, long cut first, and then cut the little ears off. Okay? There we go. <laughs> it's a new blade. Operator error. So now I'm just going to flip this over to the other side, just carefully, not move anything. Come down here. And do now I'm going to line it up. Here is the six and a half inch mark. You just have to look at the solid lines and get it on the solid lines. And then again, cut the long one first and then cut the dog ears off. So what you end up with, I'm gonna have to lift this up a little bit so I have more room. Okay, so now we have Whoops, one. We're going to do rows. We would sew these together in rows. So we would alternate different fabrics. I'm only looking at two here, but you get the idea. You can do as many or as few fabrics as you want um, and just keep sewing them together in a row as long as you want it. Then the next row, you match the previous fabric up. So you would sew these together. Here there would be row two. And you would do the same thing go all along. Now I've done many scrap quilts with this. They don't have to be all the same fabric or matchy matchy. But the whole idea is when you sew these together, it looks like a full hexi. Now uh, the other thing I do, and let me cut one of those for you, the setting triangles. So let's talk about the setting triangles. Let me take um, and cut a setting triangle. Also on the ruler, mm, let's try going this way. Hang on, line this up. I want two at once, so I'd like to line them up. Uh, the setting triangle, so this was a six and a half inch hexagon I cut. Its match is a three and a half inch triangle, if you can see that. And again, just line up the solid lines, cut each side. Oops, hang on. Don't do this, don't ever do this. Good grief. Normally I'd use my turntable, but I don't have it out. So you end up with these um, setting triangles, and here's what I mean by setting. So let's pretend this is a full hexagon. We've sewn it together, it's a full hexagon. And then rather than do Y seams, you sew these triangles, uh, let me see, uh, one up there and one opposite, one over here, Okay, so that when you sew these together, you sew them on the diagonal. See this nice straight line? You would have a whole row of these on the diagonal. Let me show you an example. Maybe this will make more sense. This is one that I haven't quilted yet, but I have the top piece. So this was sewn together. Again, let's see how far up we can go. Like this. Let's see if I can actually show you. Okay, so there. So this is the row. This is how it's sewn together. Those, these two and these two. And when you sew it together, you're only ever sewing straight lines. But when you're done, it clearly looks like a hexagon. Boy, I have a big mess. Sorry. There we go. So I, on this quilt, this is, I'm working on it for our, my guild here in uh, Fort Myers, our show in February. This is um, applique on, not quite a grandmother's flower garden, a variation of it with a square in the center. So I applique these on and then um, 
I sewed the hexes together. So that, that's kind of a fun way to use it. So that's it. My little demo on half hexes. This pattern, Flower Power, let me get back over here. Oh, she's terrible, Joyce. Uh, Flower Pattern is available in my Etsy shop as an instant download. And I will put that link below also. And thanks for bearing with me as I get back to technology that I would like to sometimes forget about. But we're there and we're good. Bye-bye.